everyone welcome back to another predestined predestined kingdom ministry or ministries international videos i'm kenneth uj you have a distinctive cry you have a distinctive cry when you cry the lord hears you i love that's why i love to cry because i know it is if i cry he gonna hear me it's something about me crying laughing and crying he be like there but you're one of the one of god's favorites he hears you when you cry you have a distinctive cry you have a show by the lord knows you just alone he knows you because he formed you but he knows you by your cry isn't that beautiful we serve a god who listens to our tears fall down our face we serve a Lord God who cares about us. Even the silent cries in our heart. You might be thinking, well, I'm a man. I don't cry like, no, you cry. You cry when you have these talks in your head with the Lord. When you pray in your heart, you might be saying a silent cry. You have a distinctive cry and the Lord knows you by it. So that's pretty big. In Isaiah 30 verse 19 it says for the people shall dwell in zion at jerusalem you shall weep no more he will be very gracious to you at the sound of your cry weep no more says the lord okay he hears it he is answering you okay he heard you cry so the Lord is saying, you have a distinctive cry and weep no more. He heard you. He hears you. He understands what you're going through. And he is coming to make things right. Okay? Now this is a part two for other people. The question is saying, why are you so tempted to rebel against God? You know that what you do at certain times are not right you know like the lord will speak to you and tell you not to do something but you're probably yes the lord is showing me you're one of those people that say but that's not god that's not god like you deny the lord when he speaks to you or show you something and then you go and rebel against god the lord is saying seek after him seek ye first the kingdom of god why are you so tempted? He's giving you everything you ask him for, whether it's coming now or later. Why are you still worshiping false gods? Why are you still rebelling against God when he tells you to go left? Why you don't go left? Why do you deny God? Why? The Lord says you need to repent before him. And that leads to reconciliation in life. So it's a part two. Okay. Those of us who are still rebelling against the Lord. I mean we all sin. But you, some of y'all. Y'all just decided to worship other gods. Or y'all just decided to not listen to the Holy Spirit. When, when the Lord tell you to leave this person alone. Move forward. Stop harassing this person. Because they're not going with your choice. Like, why are you choosing every day to raise your lover? Why are you choosing every day to rebel against the Lord and still fight for what your will is? The Lord says, my ways are not your ways. Yes, you are mere mortal, but I am God. I am the creator of heaven and earth. I created you. I have given you all power and authority and dominion in me. Why? Why do you rebel against me, says the Lord? Why do you continue to seek after people and hurt them? Because I'm blessing them and I'm giving them this man or woman. Or this amount of money or this home or this material or this position in me. Why do you seek after rebelliousness, says the Lord? Repent and turn from your wicked ways. Put on the new character of a man. Be ye holy. That's not being holy when you do that. 
And then you try to call somebody else out for doing something unholy, but you being unholy yourself and you overlooking it. Mm, mm, mm. This is the Lord speaking. The prayer says, Dear God, forgive me for seeking safety, security, and protection apart from you. Please restore my love for you. No, I don't do that. Even when I listen to my frequency music, I'm praying to Jesus Christ. I don't play that. We don't play that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's what the Lord showed me yesterday when I was watching a video. I was watching the man. Got me burning. Got me. That's the song. Y'all know I like that song. I said it should be a little hit on the radio. It's just a little catchy. I was watching that video, and I heard, Well done, that good and faithful servant. I said, I know he's speaking to all of us then. So, praise the Lord. Don't be rebellious. Do what the Lord say you could do. Stop doing what he says stop doing. Praise the Lord. Repent before him. He knows it's not easy, but he knows you can hear him and you could be obedient when he tell you to stop and go too. But like, we don't serve a stupid God. We serve the wisest God of them all. Literally, we have the wisest God. He got all the sense <laughs> and power and love. I got to go. I brag about him. God will be gracious to you if you are obedient. If we listen. You have a distinctive cry and the Lord hears it from your heart to the outside. Seek ye first the kingdom of the Lord, and all his righteousness shall be added unto you. Don't seek into false powers or powers of this world, or worship other gods, or torment people because things aren't going your way. I pray you have a blessed day. Shalom.